Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we're working on a symbol that was provided to us by a guy by the name of Lance Campo. Hi everybody, my name is Lance Campo, and I produce a video series on YouTube called The Symbol Project. Basically, I just try and find ways to repair and modify cracked or damaged symbols, the type that are used for the drum set. This symbol has a large crack in it here, so when you hit it, it doesn't sound very good. Now, symbols are pretty expensive, so there's a lot of incentive to try and repair them in some fashion. Here's the catch. Once a symbol has been turned into a finalized product, it doesn't like heat very much. The heat can destroy the temper of the material and cause all kinds of changes to the sound. So my challenge for Mr. Tig is to try and find a way to TIG weld the material so that I can find a way to repair and reuse the symbol. Just to give you a bit of background very quickly, this is what's called bell bronze, these two symbols here. And these are made from 20% tin, 80% copper. This symbol over here is made from a B8 bronze, another tin bronze, 8% tin, 92% copper. I've prepared some samples for Mr. Tig to try. Let's see what you can do. We're gonna try different fillers, uh, different methods of, uh, of welding. In fact, the welding portion of it is kind of a problem because you're overheating these and it changes the, the pitch of the symbol. So every symbol is different. We're looking at each one different. And this one is a 14 inch symbol. Now we did a visual on here and we found several cracks on here. We're gonna repair them. And I think because there are so many linear inches of cracking, we're gonna use a technique that uh, is using a low temperature solder. Now we've tried it with high temperature and uh, this one is going to be melting at about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm, I'm gonna prep this, I'm gonna clean it up. Uh, and then I'm going to use a torch, oxyacetylene. I'm going to use a neutral flame on it. Uh, then I'm going to put a flux on it, and I'm going to use a, a soft solder that melts somewhere in the 450 degree range. Now, one thing I did notice already in this symbol is that it's got a little bit of distortion, pri primarily from cracking already. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that out. Uh, when we finish with this, we're going to send it to Lance, and he's going to do all kinds of magic with it and test it. Uh, so let me get started by doing the prep first. Hey guys, this episode of Take Time is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supplies. They're giving away this Aesop Rebel welding machine. For a chance to win this machine, join their email list by clicking this link. Now let's get back to welding. Okay, I'm starting off by putting a wire wheel on here on my Dremel motor, it's pretty high speed, and I just want to get off the surface oxides. Uh, so I'll run it across the top here for a few seconds, um, and then I'm going to wipe it down with an uh, easy wipe. You see it on, on my show all the time. So I'm going to do that inside and out, and then I'm going to put a little Dremel bit in my Dremel to put a, a groove right where I want the alloy to go. So here goes. Okay, so this uh, this soft solder is a solid core soft solder, and I've got to have a flux with it. So I'm going to go ahead and flux right over. The area that I want to all that alloy to go into. And again, my melting temperature is going to be about 450, so it's not going to take as long dwell time when I've got my torch going. And I'll be setting that torch again at a neutral flame. And I'm going to go ahead and a little bit of flux here on the back because I, I do want it to penetrate through. Okay, I just want to position it where I can see the crack. Um, I'm going to go ahead and weight it down just a little bit just so it doesn't move around on me. Okay, remember this is just soft solder. 
never tried this before on on this type of a project, but you know, soft solder you can certainly use it for many many things. Okay, so I've got a neutral flame again. You can see the cone on here. That's where it should be set. Now I've got about a number one tip on here. So, you know, when you get into soft solder, you can use a triple lot, double lot, uh, practically anything that you want. But I think this will work for this particular application. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at the top. I'm, I'm circling, I'm just dispersing the heat. I just want to get a feel for how it's going to take. Not quite there. But you can, there you go. Okay, so you can see that it doesn't take long and it's, uh, it's ready to go. I'm just going to use my shades are about a 3.4, 3.5. See soft solder, man, it just it takes pretty fast. Okay, didn't get quite as warm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this over and uh, kind of do a visual. I may have to pull some of that solder through. I could, uh, well, I certainly could see it coming through. I just want to be safe because when I send this back to Lance, he's going to metal work this and the last thing he wants is a crack. Okay, so I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool off a little bit, but before that I like to do a visual inspection before I do anything else. I may have to start up and find spots that I missed. Uh, right now I can't see any, but you can see it does, it leaves dark spots in there, it's kind of ugly. But you can go to isolated spots here and, uh, and do the repair. I'm going to go to the inside again. I can see some alloy coming through, so I think as he's working this, um, he'll identify whether or not it's going to do the job or not. Um, I, I've got my doubts with silver solder because it doesn't have a lot of strength to it. It'll, it'll stick things together real easy, copper to brass and things like that. You can do your copper tubing, uh, but I just, I, I have my doubts. Uh, it ran okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap up this particular portion of the show because we're going to be getting some other special alloys and uh, uh, things that we've never tried before. So uh, first of all, you need to know this is an 8020. This is a uh, Bell Bronze. 
uh, 80, 20, 80 being copper, 20 being tin. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. So Lance, work this over, tell me what it does, what it doesn't do, and we're going to continue on. You, the audience, if you want to see this uh, on YouTube, go to uh, Lance's YouTube channel, and it's the Symbol Project. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.